Hello, BookTube. I'm Peg, the Book Prize Addict, and welcome to my channel. Today is a an exciting day for Book Prize lovers like myself, and maybe some of you. In fact, it's the start of a sort of a week um, that they call the National Book Award Week, though it's actually only three days. The uh, National Book uh, Foundation, which presents the National Book Award, has a way of uh, showing their long list for the best of the year in staged intervals and for the next three days there will be two a day and I plan to talk about them all because I really enjoy seeing what's on, on the different lists. Now there's some I will talk about more than others but I thought I'd start today with the Young People's Literature Long List which just came out uh, about an hour ago. Uh, and we've got another one coming out at uh, the Translated uh, Novel Award is coming out, the long list is coming out at 2.30 U.S. Eastern Time, so I'll be back with it, but I thought I'd practice a little by doing the Young People's Award. Now, I've never really followed young people's literature before, but I got to looking at these 10 selections on the long list, and they look really good. I just might read some of them if I can find them. Anyway, so without further ado, uh, I'm going to go through quickly through and just tell a little bit that I was able to find on the different ones. Uh, evidently by young people's literature, it includes everything from quite young uh, to, to almost young adult, I would say. So I'll, I'll leave that to you. If you're interested in these, you can look them up and see exactly what age they're appropriate for I, and I'll leave a link uh, to, to them all so you can see them yourself and uh, other things about the National Book Awards that are coming up. Okay, let's get started. The first uh, on their list is called The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo and this, she is the author herself is uh, among other things a slam poet I had to look that up. Uh, I think that's kind of inventing poetry on the spot that has a certain rhythm. And uh, the, the, the character in this is a young girl in Harlem who discovers slam poetry and enjoys it and gets into a group that does it and uh, talks about that. And it actually helps her to understand her mother's religion uh, and, and the world in general. So this is about slam poetry. Okay, next we have the assassination of Brangwen Spurge. This is by two uh, men authors, both of whom have won prizes before in, in both this, the National Book Award, and other categories for uh, uh, different types of writing they've done. Uh, this one actually... Uh, I guess you would say it was a fantasy. It deals with a warring, warring elf and goblin kingdoms. It has mixed, witty mixed media illustrations, and supposedly it has biting social commentary on politics, etc. So that sounds interesting. Next we have Will Fly Away. I love this or origami type uh, cover. Um, this is about two teenage boys, Luke and Toby, and it's told through letters from death row in a prison. Now, I guess one of the, uh, the boys, are one of them gets into trouble and the other one tries to help him and evidently doesn't succeed, and it goes into how a young teenager could end up on death row and uh, sounds more serious than the cover implies, actually. Okay, this one is the tr the truth as told told by Mason Buttle, uh, the eponymous character Mason. Here is a uh, uh, learning disabled young man, teenager, who uh, is either witness or or has is somewhere near when he, a friend of his is murdered and he evidently knows something about it and tries to tell the p police and the investigators what he saw and it says what the truth is is told by him and they won't believe him. Uh, 
So uh, that sounds like involving, and I guess there's another disappearance of someone afterwards, and it gets more involved, kind of a, I guess you would say, mystery story. Okay, next we have The Journey of Little Charlie. Uh, this takes place uh, during 1800s in the U.S., um, around the time of the Civil War, I'm not sure when or after, but it deals with a uh, young man who uh, named Charlie, whose father is a poor sharecropper in the South, and he dies owing money to this strange older man character called Captain something, Captain Buck. And Captain Buck decides or has this young Charlie go along with him on this nefarious type trip up north to Detroit where Charlie, I guess, finds out different things and there's stories of runaway slaves and, and, and just stories of the times. I guess you would call this a historical novel. Okay, we have Hey Kiddo. Um, this is a graphic memoir and about a young man, uh, the author, who, who uh, is raised by his grandparents because his, uh, because his, parent, his mother is a heroin addict and uh, it tells how he lived through all this and actually the path he took to becoming an artist. Uh, let's see, where is that? This is a Polish name, Jared Kros Kroska. Anyway, you can find it. Um, okay, next we have a very large expanse of sea. Um, this takes place in 2002, I, I assume in New York, about a young Muslim girl, a teenager, who all of a sudden, as a Muslim, she's really treated badly because of how she looks and how she talks and what she wears, and the world becomes kind of an unfriendly place to her. And uh, she, she does meet a, a boy from, as it says, a different world and, and learns more about how to get along in the world and uh, what the world is in those days. Okay, next we have Blood Water Paint. This takes place in Rome in 1600s. Uh, deals with a young woman whose mother dies and her father is a painter and evidently she has a choice between, between becoming a nun and becoming a helper in her father's uh, art studio and mixing the paints for him, which she chooses the latter. And actually I believe becomes quite a famous woman painter and um, it tells a lot about what, what it was like for women then in Rome, those days in Rome. And I guess, again, this would be a historical novel. Uh, next we have Boots on the Ground, America's War in Vietnam. It's pretty self-explanatory. This um, is told by eight different characters who uh, take place in the war, including a, a nurse, a woman nurse, and a, a refugee. And as it's telling that, it tells what's going on in the U.S. during the same time, the protests, etc. Uh, this is interesting. This I lived through this time, and I find it interesting because of that. But for young people today, it's a way to learn what their grandparents probably went through, maybe great-grandparents. I don't know. Anyway, so, okay, and lastly, we have What the Night Sings. Uh, this, again, is a historical novel. It takes place in, um, right after World War II in Germany. Uh, the young woman is, um, her, her parents, she's lost all of her family in a Nazi war camp and uh, she is taken to a misplaced persons camp and it talks about what life is like for her there and um, ways she discovers to, to, to live and, and, and develop her own character. So actually all these sound good. If you've read any of them or anything, any sound interesting, let me know. I may try to read some of them. Um, the short list will be out um, next month. That It'll all come out at the same time and so uh, but I'll be back uh, the next couple of days, starting this afternoon, with the 
uh, novel in translation, best novel in translation. This is the first time prize for the National Book Award. One I am really excited about. So I'll be back to talk about that soon. Okay, bye.